forget this undercover Fox 5 I team investigation of a traveling preacher who spits out gemstones that he says come directly from heaven. Yeah, well, it turns out he claims an even bigger miracle, one typically thought to be exclusive to the man whose birth we celebrate this month. We're talking about turning water into wine. Now, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis is back with more of this undercover investigation into Fred Williams Ministries. That's right, Sonia Rush. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of all the miracles that supposedly happen around Fred Williams. Feathers from angels, gold dust from God, gemstones from heaven. But now the Georgia resident who once wrote a flattering book about Williams wonders whether he was fooled too. You're watching an undercover Fox 5 IT moment that requires lots of faith <clears throat> and plenty of hand sanitizer. Oh my, oh my goodness, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. A supposed gemstone from God that two jewelry experts determined to be man made cubic zirconia. For sale, they said, for under a dollar. But Fred Williams preaches the gems that pop out of his mouth, the colorful dust that appears on his body, the feathers that drop to the floor, all come from heaven, as does the wine for communion. And it changed in an instant from water to wine. We get loaves of bread from okay. heaven. So, Sebastian, you know, an angel, brings them. And we get water that's turned into wine. The people in this winder home sure seemed to think they were witnessing miracles. And years ago, Logan Rogers did too. Perhaps he, I, I was duped. I don't know. Did you actually see water transform itself into wine? No. So who told you that it became wine? Um, well... Uh, it was Fred. It doesn't taste like grapes. Hmm. It tastes like the fruit of heaven. Amen. That's what it tastes like. So you're like. not just like secretly moving some grape juice around to make it look like the wine came from water? Well, you know, whatever people want to believe, they can believe, but that's just not happening. Sure tasted like grape juice to us. I'm not looking for them. Signs and wonders are looking for me. Amen. That's right. yeah. Don't you get that? Williams had no problem with our undercover producer openly recording with her cell phone. He's clearly good at what he does. In a three-year period, the Fred Williams Ministries reported nearly a quarter of a million dollars in donations. He wasn't getting that kind of contribution when I was walking with him. That it's at that level right now is amazing to me. In 2012, Hiawassee resident Logan Rogers wrote, out of his mouth, a flattering paperback about Fred Williams. Rogers considered Williams one of his closest friends and followed him across the country. The two had a falling out shortly after the book was published and have not talked for years. Rogers says multiple miracles convinced him Williams was anointed, like when he saw gold dust on his pal during a long drive in his car. And I saw it start to appear all over his face as I would look at him. Could it have been gold dust like that? It very much looks the same. So there's no way of my being able to tell between this and the real stuff, because I don't even know what the real stuff is. The heaven stuff. The heaven stuff. Williams served time in South Carolina back in the late 90s for forgery and receiving stolen property. Do they know about your criminal record, Fred? I believe they do, since it's no, nothing is hidden. I'm transparent as I can be about my record and everything else. Not everything else. At the time we talked to Williams, he was out on bond on a shoplifting charge. He's accused of stealing $35 worth of garden supplies at a South Carolina Walmart. The case is pending. Wow. It's not a good story. I'm not libeling him today by saying he's a fraud. I'm saying I don't know. Would I write the book today and endorse him? No. Yet there's no doubt inside this room, plenty of doubt for those who choose not to come back. If this is his sleight of hand and this is a con, he needs to give it up. Because if he doesn't, he's going to find something at the end of the rainbow that is not going to be pleasant. John the Baptist. Well, we only found out about William's shoplifting arrest after we talked to him. He has not responded to our latest attempt for comment. If convicted, Williams faces a $2,100 fine, and he's already been told that he's not supposed to come back to that Walmart in his hometown of Barnwell, South Carolina. Again.
just wondering, Randy, has there been a lot of demand for that book about Williams? No, maybe a few hundred copies he thinks has, has been sold over the years. Uh, but it's interesting, you know, he's, he's struck on something that's kind of hot right now, and that's the, the gem ministry. We did some right. research and found other ministries, primarily in the Caribbean and overseas, also showing you know signs and wonders of gemstones falling from the sky and things like that. These sort of signs and wonders, and I put them in quotes, mm -hmm. get people to come back, get the followers to come back and also to donate. And it makes sense to them, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense to the people like us outside looking in. Yeah, it does make you a little sad for the people whose faith and desire to believe in something is being taken advantage of. Especially when they see some gold dust in a little tube and say, yeah, that could have been it. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Randy, thanks.